Facebook stalkers. I have tried to record this for Donna for three times and today was the third try and the sound didn't come out. So I am re-recording everything but the bits where I'm actually putting the smoothie together. So um, today's review is on the Chia Bliss smoothie with coconut sugar um, from the Philippines, kiwi, pineapple, blueberry, and apple. And um, like I said, I have attempted to do this three times, and upon loading it, found out there was no volume. So, here is what the Chia Bliss looks like before it's being prepared. So on the front it says Chia Bliss smoothie with coconut sugar from the Philippines, blah blah blah. On the back are the directions, uh, half a cup of ice, half a cup of water in the blender. Uh, blend for 20 seconds. We'll see how long it actually takes um, to blend. It goes a little faster in my little blender. So I pretty much follow the directions on this one. So you can see I have my little blender. Um, it is not a name brand. This thing is a chef style that I picked up at Target for less than 30 bucks a long time ago. Um, this is the cap that comes with the cup. You always put it on because the top of the cup is sharp, and this is the blender cap. So we're going to take this over to the refrigerator and put some ice in it. I usually try to use crushed ice because uh, it helps the blender a little bit. Mine does not like full ice cubes. There we go. I forgot to weigh it out, so we're going to do that real quick. As I said, I'm not a morning person, so me remembering to do things this early is not normal. So I'll just dump it in a cup real quick and zero out my scale. Otherwise, you get a misreading because it'll give you the weight of your container, too. There we go, 4.1 ounces, close enough. So, bring this back over to the blender, double check. I need the four ounces of water. As I said, not a morning person. Normally I would do this fast and all in one shot. I love my refrigerator. It's got this animated screen and you can see the water is just about at the same level as the top of the ice. That's a, usually a good indication that I have equal amounts. So I'm going to put the blender cap on just to make sure that this um, cup doesn't have a leak. So, oops, I think this is going to take two hands. There we go, two-handed. Like I said, I do this before I put the Chia Bliss in just to make sure there's no, the, you know, it's not leaking, there's no problems. So if I can hold it sideways and nothing comes out, I know that the cup isn't cracked or anything. Um, I have to do this because I don't use this blender very much, or I haven't until now. I've been using it a lot since starting the Optivia. So I unscrewed the cap and now I'm going to put the um, smoothie in and reseal the cap. This is an interesting perspective. All right, I'm going to double check it again and I'm going to shake it up a little bit. I do this mostly because um, I figured out that my blender will get bound up with the powder um, if I don't swirl it around a little bit. Um, now, if you have a Ninja or like a really powerful blender um, that's not a knockoff, you probably won't have that problem, but I did. So here we go, we're going to give this a start. 
Oh wait, something's wrong. Okay, so uh, I was an idiot and didn't plug it in. So, good morning, Katie. Time to plug in your blender before you start trying to use it. There we go. Try this again. And there it goes. So, um, usually this blender um, does a pretty good job of doing it fast. Um, the longer you blend it, the thicker it gets from my notice. I think because of the colder it gets. Um, but usually I look and wait and see until it's all one consistent color and I don't have um, where it's lighter at the bottom and darker at the top. If that happens, it usually means the, the shake's not done. All right, all done, and you can see it's not even settling to the bottom because it's so thick. So I'm going to loosen the cap up. There we go. Tap it down just to get it away from the blender a little bit. Sorry about that. And there you go. There's the blender. You can see that it's like so thick that if this was egg whites, we'd call it stiff peaks. I have no idea what I was saying here, so I think I was just saying that it's similar to a blizzard and that you can almost serve it upside down. But if you want it a little looser, use more water. If you want it a little thicker, use more ice. Pop the cap on so I don't cut myself on the cup. Can't get anything out. So I'll get a straw. The good thing is, every time I've used a straw, I have not had a problem um, getting the Chia Bliss smoothie down. It it drinks through the straw really easily without getting without freezing or, or clumping up in the straw. So that's the straw, or that's the thing. Um, as with all smoothies, it's the color of the blueberries because blueberries color everything. So it's kind of this blue-gray color, um, and you definitely get more of the blueberry than you do anything else. So, um, overall, I apologize for the screwed upness of this video. Um, I'm going to learn from my mistakes. <laughs> And, um, you know, maybe get something to stand my iPad, my phone on so I don't have to hold it and try to work a blender at the same time. I'm also going to try to remember not to leave my Bluetooth headphones and microphone on and leave them in the other room. So maybe I won't have the auditory problem next time. So again, I apologize greatly for the quality of this video. Um, Donna, I am sorry that it took me so long to get this up. And uh, we will do our best to continue doing Optavia views and lots of other things um, in this vlog. So have a great day. Catch you on the flip side and live a life worthy life.